Hello and welcome back to Kelly Loves K-Pop. Today we're continuing on with our EXO uh, Ideal Partner series. It's been donated, uh, or I should say, funded by a lovely donator from the coffee page. Thank you so much. I really <laughs> appreciate your continued support. And obviously, if you're interested in this kind of reading uh, for your favorite idol, uh, be sure to check out that coffee page. The link is in the description. I also have a Patreon where you can suggest uh, videos every month there. Uh, and that's kind of like an unlimited thing. We'll, we'll just do as many as we can get to in a month. So with that said, again, this is about Chanyeol from EXO. And I'm going to shuffle these cards and get going. These are This is an oracle reading. Um, I just use different cards that are more specific to uh, personality types. And then I'll use a clarifier on each of those. Uh, if you're new to the channel, just know tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. Uh, you know, divination in general is uh, subconscious. So I'm not basing this on any facts. I'm not associated in any way. Just going by what I see in the cards, my intuition, and uh, logic, <laughs> my best guess. So uh, stick around if you want to see how that works. I remember there used to be a time where people would call... Chanel had like an alter ego at some point, and when I saw this immediately, that's what, threw, what went to my head. Loey or something? I can't remember. But it was some kind of play on like his name. And immediately, let me just push you up a little bit. That's what I thought of. Okay, so then we're gonna get some clarifier cards on these to see what they say about the partner or why the partner is ideal. I know um, a lot of people want me to try to guess who the partner is but honestly this is more about Chanyeol than it is the partner it's just what kind of partner works well with him or maybe what kind of partner he's looking for so this is my oh god what is the name of this deck I'll put the name of both of these decks up on the on the screen right now so you guys can see if you're interested um what they are and they should be easy to track down on the internet i'm pretty sure they're both available on amazon that kind of thing so. either that or maybe in the description of the videos i'll start putting the names of the decks that i use that way i don't have to spend the time editing them in yeah just look in the description if you're interested in whatever decks i'm using in the video from now on just i'll put them in the description Cards are ready, so let's go. Oops. Jump out. Okay, so let's go ahead and start getting some clarifiers on these. Alright, so for Fun Fatal, what is our clear? Okay. Alright. For Rebel, what's our clarifier? Okay. For Liberator, what is our clarifier? For orphan child, what is our clarifier? That is three. I don't just need one, please. That's one card. Okay, two. All right, you'll get two there, buddy. And beggar. Let me clarifier for beggar. Clarifier for companion, please. Okay, here we go. Set this over here as well. 
we'll get to read him. All right, so our first personality trait is femme fatale in the shadow. So it says, an inappropriate use of sensuality, attachment to money and power. And we have a uh, sunstone, leadership, confidence, and freedom. So, The first thing that came to mind is Chen Yong maybe not using his charisma for the leadership qualities it, sh it could have or it should have. Um, but it could also be leading to that's, that's what he's looking for and that's what he's attracted to is someone who uses their, their charisma for a leadership um, quality or a leadership position in their life. Like... someone who just kind of radiates confidence. So I don't know if that's because it's something that he's working on or he finds trouble with or he uses his charisma for, you know, other things. Um, and obviously in his career, that's a big part of it too, but it seems like in his private life, private life that's also part of it. Maybe a misuse of his charisma or natural, um, the way people are, I wouldn't say natural attraction, but the way people are attracted to him, people, people tend to radiate towards him. Um, so it could be that he needs someone in his life that either cultivates him turning that into a leadership quality or that they are a natural leader and that's what he is attracted to. So someone who kind of flips that energy around on him, um, which kind of makes sense. I think a lot of people would be into that. I mean, highly charismatic powerful people are kind of what society deems as uh, good, you know, as, as attractive. So we also have rebel in the shadow, uh, rejects legitimate authority out of anger, rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. Someone who likes to be a bit edgy, someone who likes to go against the grain. Um, and then we have pink fluorite. So it's guidance, ease and comfort. So it does sound like Chen Yong may have a hard time reining himself in, self-control or something may be an issue with him. So he's looking for a partner that can kind of balance that out for him. Someone who understands how to um, maybe give him a safe space. Maybe he, a lot of his chaos could be due to instability in his life and he needs someone who is stable. Again, kind of is where they're going to be in their life already. Kind of leaning, sounding like maybe he's into an older person. Not elderly or anything like that but someone older than him someone who's more established maybe in a in a stable style life than he is I think um he may like the chaos that is in his life but uh, it also can be a double-edged sword I think and maybe he's getting it to an age where he's getting over that or he needs to learn how to calm it down a little bit so he wants someone in his life that does that 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 knows what they're doing and is just stable and like a calming present a comforting presence Uh, and then we have uh, Liberator in the Light, which is freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns, and then Jade. So wisdom, abundance, good luck. Um, again, someone who kind of is where they're at, like is, I want to say successful already in their life at their age. Um, it, it sounds like he'll want someone who either runs their own company. They could also be an artistic or creative type of person, but maybe someone who runs their own company or is their own boss, is set, is comfortable, knows how they're, knows what they're doing. Um, you can kind of bring, give him a safe, stable place, you know. Uh, he could have concerns that if he leaves being an idol or, you know, um, if, if he doesn't want to be a celebrity anymore, like what would he do? Maybe this is saying like he wants someone who is already established, so he's not, someone's not dependent on him, I think is an inner fear that's coming out in this. Um, so he's looking for a partner who's successful. Let's see. These also have uh, zodiac signs attached. So let's see if there's any any repeats so far. Libra is showing up a couple for for these two. We'll see if um, we see more that are are repeated. But Libra Libra tends to be a people pleaser. Libra tends to be someone who brings in luxury and beautiful things around their life. Um, 
but also things that kind of make them comfortable. Um, okay, so this is the one. So this one might be the more important here of the of the reading. So we have orphan child in the shadow. So it's a feeling of abandonment that stifle maturation or m maturation, you know, maturity. Uh, seeking inappropriate surrogate families. So again, we're seeing this kind of saying um, that you're you're seeking for companionship in wrong the wrong places like people who don't really look out for you they're just using him um and then we have cacoxanite and green adventuring so interconnection ascension attunement prosperity fortune and opportunity um so interconnection obviously jumped out with this so someone who again is now connected to the right people or again stability is a huge thing I just get this vibe, these cards sounding like partying, being out, being associated um, with people who are kind of maybe using him to have a good time. Uh, it could be, you know, that he tends to, you know, sit in the VIP, pay, pays for the drinks, you know what I mean? Like it's on him. People expect him to pay for things because they know he, he you know, who he is. Um but it's also something he invites himself like he's inviting those friends he's paying for the dinners he's paying for the the outings or whatever they're doing um so it's definitely saying that uh this person i don't know if they're gonna bring the right friends into his life but it's definitely gonna help him weed out the bad ones um again ascension opportunity prosperity coming up to like that next level is going to put him around the right kind of people prosperity isn't always money but it is something where it's going to invite good things into your life and help you spread more good things with other people um so yeah china sounds like he's ready to step up to the next phase where he's ready to weed out the the snakes in his friend group the users in his friend group find stability start making friends in that realm um, I keep feeling like there's businesses involved. So it's like someone who either pushes him out of the idle realm to get into business. And I know it could be like a, a big thing is like buying property, running properties, that kind of thing in Korea for idols. But it could be also as an idol encouraging him to get more into, uh, you know, producing, writing, you know, a uh, kind of production company for, for his music. It could be means something pushing him further in that direction instead of just like accepting things as they are accepting what's given to him i feel like this is a someone who's their business minded and it's going to push him to kind of create his own stability in his life uh, or it could be someone that's capable of giving that to him but i don't think he'd want someone who just hands that kind of thing i think he's going to want someone who helps him focus his energy you're not bigger in the light so it's confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival, awakens the spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem, which I think is most important. And then we have citrine, creativity, happiness, manifestation. Again, we keep seeing over and over again. He's got like abundance, prosperity, crystals. This one's also Libra. What are these two? Sagittarius and Aries. This one has Aries too, and I want to think maybe we had an Aries. Yeah, here. That's Pisces. Yeah, so I'm seeing Aries and Libra a lot, which is good. A couple of sun cards too, so maybe Aries, Libra, sun signs. Um, but yeah, Citrine, again, is another abundance crystal, another manifestation. This is someone who's going to help him establish longevity in his life and his career. And something he's, I mean, I think it's obvious XO. Although I hope they stay around for a long time, you know, they're, the guys are all going to be doing more and more solo work as time goes on. Like that's just the nature of the beast. And so I think he's going to have more time to work on business, work on um, whatever creative endeavors he's doing. And uh, obviously it's SM, so they're not going to always be as many singing opportunities and performing opportunities as we would like to see. So I think it is something or someone encouraging him to field his options, get his stuff together, pursue the next level, the next strategy uh, in his life to continue his his business, to continue his, his flow of, of abundance. Because 
he is a little abundance attractor in this reading. Like all these, all these stones he's getting, um, they're not protection or psychic, or, you know, intuitive stones. These are all abundance prosperity stones, pretty much. He, he's, he wants to be financially stable. And I think that's going to be th the big thing in the partner, competence, stability, business mind. Like those are the big traits that are coming out for the ideal partner. So, and then we have companion in the light. So loyal, tenacity, and unselfishness. So, I mean, that speaks for itself. I think a loyal partner um, who works hard and, you know, again, a Libra, it, it, they tend to take care of other people. I'm seeing a lot of Libra energy. And then we have Amazonite. So uh, objectivity, filter, and truth. So that goes really, really well with this. Because, I mean, uh, you're going to have loyalty and, and unselfishness. You need someone who's honest and open. Um, yeah. Somehow I feel like in the partnership he's looking for, he's going to be kind of not... My, I'm, I always feel like I always leap to like a word that has like negative connotations. And I don't want to put insinuate it's a negative thing but like I want to say he's got the himbo energy <laughs> in the relationship you know like in a good way like he's kind of the dreamer uh and then he need, he needs someone who's highly grounded um to balance him out like that's really really truthfully what I'm saying like or what I'm seeing not what I'm saying um that he's he wants to be able to keep his head in the clouds um, and someone hold his feet to the ground, but because that's what works for them. That's, that's how their relationship is fueled. Like, um, yeah, just a, a harmonious compliment. So again, you know, nobody's perfect. Obviously a lot of times these ideal, I call them ideal partners because it's idealized. It's idealistic. It's not who they're going to end up with. It's who they want or who would work well with them. Um, like, I, I mean, I, I say that over and over again, but I just want people to take to have that be the takeaway in that reading. Because I know there's a lot of love readings and I stay away from that. So uh, those who have been around and follow my channel know how I feel. I'm probably beating a dead horse for that. But, you know, that's just what it is. Okay, and we're going to do a quick check in because that's what I like to do. So let me get this cleared and let me um, get some cards out. I'm trying to figure out if I want to read these right up. These are a, the system and this is a little different than some of the other decks I use. So I might not read these in reversal. Um, kind of not feeling it. So sometimes with what's called box style, I do read a reversal. But lately I've been telling myself maybe I shouldn't be so rebellious um all right so sometimes the cards may come out but I'm gonna re I'm gonna flip them to be the right way I naturally shuffle in reversals so sometimes it's hard to break that habit I already know there's reversals in this deck from the last time I ever used it all right channel How is Chanel doing at the moment? I know I just put up, I've been doing a lot of EXO readings. I think I just did Kai and, well, okay, Kai and Dio. Um, friendship, let me make sure I didn't, that something else was flipped over in here. Um, okay, well these are, for the most part, I said I wanted to read them right side up and that is exactly how they're coming out. Um, but yeah, so there's been a lot of EXO readings. So I hope you guys are enjoying that. Okay, let me turn this one over. Okay, so literally one card came out in reverse. So the cards are with me on this decision. I like it when we're in agreement. <laughs> All right. Okay, so. Excuse me. I have no fingernails. And for some reason, I can't pick this up now. Okay. Why? Okay, there we go. 
<laughs> Struggle bus. Okay, so we have uh, four, what would be the four of swords, the four of air, right? Yeah. Um, two of truths. And the ace of fire. So there's either a standstill or kind of he's giving up on um, a creative endeavor. Again, there was there's like this energy of like the group being kind of torn in half on a concept to do or not to do. It's something that's done. It's already done. Yeah, obviously we have defeat here and prudence. Um, it's like he's come, he's accepted what's what's going on. I do, it just, in the air, it feels like Exo's having a comeback soon. I keep getting comeback energy, fighting about concept or songs or per, there's something about it that it has the group half and half. Unless some members just aren't going to take part in it, which feels weird but could be i don't know if that's truly the energy i'm getting but it could be uh, but there is a disagreement it just feels like there's a, there's something um that's like there's a the, that's how i feel but you know nobody else or you know that's not the way it's going it's gone like i put my idea out there but no one no one agreed with me or not enough people agreed with me yeah it's it's, it's something that it's done but it's not it's not out yet. Like his pardon is done, but there's other work being done on it that he's not happy about. So that's why I think I keep coming back to concept. I feel like concept is just a touchy subject for them too, because maybe they had such a distinct kind of like, I keep, again, keep going back to like all the superpowers they had. And I just don't know if they're, that's getting thrown away or it's getting used in a way they don't like it. They're, I don't know. I keep getting concept. But it's just overall some big decision um, that's not going his way. He's not quite happy with it. He's waiting um, for it to come out. Yeah, and the five of air. Yeah, the five of air really does feel like there were two sides. And even though the side, one of the sides won, it's like, but at what cost? Like they alienated half the group. So it was like, was it worth it? I don't know. Someone did something and I just don't know if it was the boys were pitted against themselves or the company did it to them. There's a real split down the middle uh, in these readings lately. And again, I don't want to say like it's breakup energy because it doesn't feel like there's anger in it. Uh, it doesn't feel like there's malice or anything like that, but it does feel like some people just, and I mean, it's business. You're not going to be happy with everything all the time, the way it runs. But I think whatever is coming out, it's, again, it's either not everyone is involved. It could be their subunit. So some members aren't involved and they're not happy with that. Or there's something about the comeback that has the group split um, on how they feel about it. And some people are really unhappy with with it. So I don't know. It could be the song choice. It could be the concept. There's some th weird decision that I keep seeing in these EXO readings. Um, we've got lust and indolence you know, of war. Hmm. There is like an aspect of, again, if you go along with what's happening, like you'll eventually get what it is that you wanted. Like there's, re there, there's reward for going along with it. And it could just be like, you know, the, the fan ex exception or the fan re reception is its own reward. Um, so it could be that, like they're just hoping that 
in the process, the fans still like the outcome regardless. Um, it could be saying that regardless of if the group likes it, it will be successful. Um, he just needs to kind of hold, sit tight, ride it through. Um, lust and, um, or in, uh, you know, you, you'll see this called the strength card in other decks. Um, and it's about kind of holding on, you know not giving in, in a lot of ways. Um, I have the Prince. So this would be the Knight in a lot of uh, other decks too. Again, this deck works a little bit, the system works a little differently. Yeah, if this is the, the Prince of Earth, then very much it's about standing your ground, staying still. And mm, the devil. So this is outside sources. I'm gonna pull one more card on this devil card to see if there's any explanation about the outside sources and why he's scared of them or why they're kind of upsetting him. I mean, this whole thing sounds like, again, company decisions, um, but there could be, oh, okay. I want Queen of Water. So there's, yeah, yeah, this is someone who's in charge of them. There could be a woman who's in charge of this decision. Or a person who is a water sign, but either way, the water generally talks about your emotions. And then a queen is someone who is in charge of like handling it. So it could be a manager. It could be something like that, like someone who is coming in and or it could just be the emotions of others or what's weighing on him to like kind of go along. Maybe it's a whole like, well, I'm not crazy about this, but if it makes other people happy, then I'll deal with it. That's very Queen of Cups. That's very Queen of Water. So it could be that. Like he doesn't like it. You know, he has to placate other people's feelings, other people's egos. Um... But it's like, and I think that's natural. Not everyone's going to like every comeback. So it's like, okay, I don't like this, but eventually if I hold out, I'll get kind of my turn for what I want. Whether it's his next solo, he's going to get it as a reward or um, he gets to fight for the next comeback, whenever that is. He's kind of got a carrot in front of him for something down the line if he goes along with what, what this is that he doesn't like. But this kind of makes me think it's, his part in it is done, but there's still something going on with it. So it's either production, post-production, other people are still doing their parts, or the company is still, you know, gathering funds for videos or promotions, that kind of thing. So it's it's not out yet, but obviously I don't think it's going to come out, like, next month. But, I mean, who knows? It's, it definitely seems it's in the not-too-far future. So it's just, like, hanging out there. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm seeing. It really feels like work. I keep looking into here for like emotions. For personal life, but I'm not seeing that. I just see his life right now as work. I kind of asked to not see things I'm not supposed to see. So a lot of times I'm not gonna get a big read on their private lives anyway because I asked my guides not to show me a lot of too interpersonal stuff so yeah that's what I'm saying so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh it's pretty straightforward pretty simple and I, I just think they're working I think he's working um there seems to be some kind of divide in the group about what's going on with this project they're working on um and then maybe some female energy kind of overseeing this project that's either manipulating people's emotions against each other or um, it's the feminine energy and channel that is trying to make other people happy instead of himself right now with with these decisions. Um, those queens can kind of go either way. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much again to the donator on the coffee page. Again, links are below if you want to order your own idol readings like this. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Have a wonderful day. I love you.
bye